you might have seen this device on my channel this one is samsung galaxy s7 2017 edition i did review this device maybe a week ago and it was running on android 11 back then and i did say that on that video i will be installing ubuntu or selfish os on this device so now it is running on ubuntu and frankly said this is kind of amazing the way it runs because this is not really official build of ubuntu for this device it is a ported rom and it runs amazingly well so as you can see here there are a lot of application and i did install few application here and few application actually android application here first of all let's check what we are getting with this system so as you can see here it is pretty much similar to all the one to touch os and if you go to about section so it is running on ubuntu imei number and other things so storage and everything here and the setting layout as you can see here in terms of network actually sim card bluetooth wi-fi all those things are working although there is no nfc or bo lt or bo wi-fi support rather than that everything is working dual sim working perfectly fine no issue hotspot is working wi-fi is working so kind of amazing for a ported rom and in terms of customization there is not a lot of customization here but if you know how to use ubuntu os you can use terminal and you can change the device as you liking as for this rom goes you are getting all the basic features like if you go to background section you can choose the background and you can choose your own too actually like custom section and also we have sound section and sound is working perfectly fine no issue everything is working here and also language and text we have account section google and other things and battery section so battery is doing pretty well like not really bad for a portable rom as i said and there are phone setting mouse and trackpad setting and few other things and the auto brightness also working perfectly fine no issue actually so these are the few things we are getting with the setting panel and if i go to notification panel so as you can see here there are a lot of tabs so we can go to rotation tab we can unlock rotation lock and lock it we have keyboard layout we have file section we have location so location is working here bluetooth section we have network section as you can see here all the wi-fi networks and everything we have sound section where you can control music and we have battery section where you will get the brightness setting so kind of weird but it is here actually and also we have date and time setting where you can see full calendar here and there are a few other things and also you get a system setting so if you are here you can log out suspend also you can shut down your device directly from here so those are the basic things here and now going to the home screen so as you can see here the application first of all let's talk about the camera so the camera is working perfectly fine no issue with the rom and camera is working as you can see here it's a little slow but it works actually so you can see. focus and bam front facing camera is also similar it works in similar manner to go to multitasking you know you can swipe from here directly from here to see all the multitasking application as you can see all the multitasking application and just go to home screen you can swipe directly from the app left to right and you are in the application home screen and there are a few other application which are built in like uh, music application and notes app store so there is app store where you can download application there are not a lot of application here in terms of gaming also you are not getting much here so is you can see here application but I think that's enough if you are using a ubuntu touch os that means you don't really need a lot of application so all the basic application you can get from here you can go by category also if you want games so there is a game section here actually and mostly basic application are here so games most of the basic games are here and those are the things and there are much categories like music category personalization category and those are the things by default this device doesn't come with any kind of dark mode so if you want dark mode you can download ut tweak tool so if you open ut tweak tool and you go to system setting authenticate system setting and you can choose dark theme so after choosing dark theme you have to reboot your device so you can click on power button and as you can see it is showing restart button just restart your device and you will see that everything is now in dark mode so the device is booted up and now if we check any application 
so as you can see here dark so dark mode is pretty good for this device because this device got amoled panel the panel is already burned so if you turn on dark mode it looks good this soft button does not work on ubuntu os only the home button works the other buttons doesn't work and it is pretty much swipe based rom like nokia and nine and today's all android devices so fully gesture based and you can swipe and you can check your application running application and everything so that's what we are getting here actually not much and also we do have terminal so if you know how to use terminal you can use terminal here so let me connect to the wi-fi let's see what we can do so the wi-fi is connected we can write command here i don't really know much about linux um, but still if you know how to use this is kind of really fun to do so as you can see here it is updating the application or if there is any application to update it will update that and also you can use terminal to download any kind of application which is not in the store let's talk about android here so if you want android on this device it is kind of run android like virtual machine so as you can see here i have weirdroid here so weirdroid you have to install it using terminal you can find them on xda development website so you can get them from there and just few commands and you can get weirdroid here but there are few things which i need to talk about weirdroid so first of all let's turn on weirdroid so it is opening right now the problem with weirdroid on this device is that it can runs only once after rebooting the device if you close it it will not open again let me show you what i'm talking about so now it is still opening if i swipe from here as you can see it is not here let me try again so now it is opening now and we are in Linux US based on Android 11 it is a virtual machine type of thing and the ROM works perfectly fine even in virtual machine now we are in Android device so fully Android based everything works here too and if I swipe from here as you can see here all the running application what I have used before and the application as you can see not much because this is not a GFs build so not much application here and if I go to setting about so as you can see here android 11 and if you are connected wi-fi on your main os you can access internet directly from here too so it will use the wi-fi connected wi-fi so as you can see here it, and if i try youtube so as you can see here it's working on android 11 the soft button does work so if i press back so as you can see here soft buttons are working and also you can turn on full gesture based navigation if i swipe from here directly so as you can see here it shows multitasking so the gesture will be overlapped with the main os and with the rom running rom so that's why it is better to use these soft buttons when you are in android and in android device actually everything works like even the camera also working here surprisingly well so camera is working here too and even nfc also work here so kind of surprising but nfc works here too nfc is turned on and you can see the navigation panel from here as you can see here everything is there so that's what we are getting here in device so here also everything is working and if you go to wi-fi section so wi-fi is currently turned off but still you can turn on and you can connect here too but as you can see here we are already connected so it does not need and android 11 is running perfectly fine you can install your own application here no issue with that if you want now coming to the issue as i said if you close android from here you will not be able to open it again until you reboot the device so as for now if i close the android and like now i am in ubuntu so if i am in ubuntu i can go back to android by swiping the multitasking button and just go to the application and if i close it so if i close it and if i try to open it again now it will not work anymore as you can see here so it is not working anymore So I don't really know what is the issue with this thing but I have to reboot the device now. After rebooting the ROM will work again. So the device is restarted now. Now we will be able to open Android again. So let me try it again. Android. 
so as you can see here it is running now so only one time you can do it like after rebooting the device if you close it it will not run again but that's not really a big deal you can like leave it in the background and it will like stay there and if you really need android you can like have this one and android works like flawlessly no issue with android here if you want it you can get it but as far as ubuntu go it works perfectly fine no issue i have been using this rom for a week now i haven't seen any weird thing here it is pretty smooth rom and it works very well everything is working although there are not much application but still it's a linux based rom so if you prefer security maybe you can go with this rom it's kind of good so if you want to install this rom you can ask me in, in my telegram channel i will give you the link to download the rom so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one